good morning and welcome back to the next class of theory of computation in this class we are going to consider another example on nfa with epsilon move to nfa conversion so the nfa with epsilon move is given by the transition diagram wherein there is a transition epsilon transition from q0 to q1 q2 to q1 and q1 to q3 so the first step is to find the epsilon closure for all the states of the automata so epsilon closure of q0 consists of all the states that are reachable from q0 by reading epsilon so it consists of q0 then q0 to q1 and q3 so epsilon closure of q0 is q0 q1 and q3 as from q0 to q0 we don't need any transition from q0 to q1 there is epsilon transition and from q1 to q3 there is again epsilon transition so epsilon closure of q0 consists of q0 q1 and q3 then epsilon closure of q1 so epsilon closure of q1 is set of all the states that are reachable from q1 by reading epsilon so it will be q1 and there is a transition from q1 to q3 so q3 so q1 and q3 will be the epsilon closure of q1 epsilon closure of q2 so there it will consist of q2 then there is a epsilon transition from q2 to q1 so q1 and from q1 again it can go to q3 so epsilon closure of q2 can be q will be q1 q2 and q3 now epsilon closure of q3 epsilon closure of q3 will be q3 only right because there is no epsilon transition from q3 then let us construct the table for the equivalent nfa considering the initial state as q0 transition from q0 on a will be computed by the step that we have seen in the previous example so the initial state will be q0 will compute epsilon closure of q0 we have already computed it to be q0 q1 q3 we'll add it then we'll consider consider transition from this state on the input a so q0 on a there is no transition so that is phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi similarly uh, q1 on a there is no transition from q1 on a so it is phi and epsilon closure of phi is again phi q3 on a goes to q3 itself and epsilon closure of q3 is q3 so q0 on a will go to q3 in the new nfa in the equivalent nfa right then we'll compute q0 on b so q0 then epsilon closure of q0 is q0 q1 q3 q0 on b goes to q2 and epsilon closure of q2 is q1 q2 q3 right we have already computed this then q1 on b so q1 on b there is no transition so that will be phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi then q3 on b so q3 on b there is no transition that is phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi so q0 on b in the equivalent nfa will go to q1 q2 and q3 either of these three states then let us compute q0 on c in the equivalent nfa so q0 then again compute epsilon closure of q0 that is q0 q1 q3 then q0 on c there is no transition that is phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi and q1 on c q1 on c goes to q2 and epsilon closure of q2 is q1 q2 q3 right then q3 on c there is no transition that is phi and epsilon closure of phi is again phi so in the equivalent nfa table for the state q0 on c input it will go to either of the states q1 q2 or q3 so we add a transition like this in the transition table now we'll compute for the next state q1 so we'll again compute epsilon closure of q1 and epsilon closure of q1 we have already computed is to be q1 q3 right then we'll consider transition from q1 on a so q1 on a there is no transition that is phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi similarly q3 on a 
q3 on a goes to q3 and epsilon closure of q3 is q3 so we add a transition in the nfa table for q1 on a that goes to q3 similarly q1 on b so q1 for epsilon closure of q1 we will write q1 q3 then q1 on b q1 on b there is no transition so that is phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi then q3 on b so q3 on b there is no transition that is phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi so q1 on b in the equivalent nfa will go to phi there will be no transition from q1 on b in the equivalent nfa now q1 on c so we will compute epsilon closure of q1 that is q1 q3 q1 on c there is a transition to q2 and epsilon closure of q2 is q1 q2 q3 then q3 on c it goes to phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi so q1 on c goes to either of the states q1 q2 and q3 in the equivalent nfa so we add a transition to these states that is set of q1 q2 or q3 then let us compute for the next state q2 so q2 we will consider epsilon closure of q2 that is q1 q2 q3 then we will find the transition on input a for each states so q1 on a goes to phi there is no transition and epsilon closure of phi is phi and q2 on a there is no transition again so it goes to phi and epsilon closure of phi is again phi q3 on a goes to q3 and epsilon closure of q3 we have already computed it to be q3 so we add a transition from from q2 on a in the equivalent nfa that goes to q3 so we add a set of states as q3 over here in this transition table now we'll compute q2 on b so we compute epsilon closure of q2 which is q1 q2 q3 then we find transition from this state on the input b so q1 on b there is no transition so it goes to phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi similarly we find q2 on b so q2 on b goes to q3 and epsilon closure of q3 is q3 then q3 on b there is no transition from q3 on b so it goes to phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi so we add a transition in the equivalent nfa for q2 on b goes to q3 so we add q3 over here so now we compute uh, transition for q2 on c so we find epsilon closure of q2 which is q1 q2 q3 and then transition from q1 on c goes to q2 and epsilon closure of q2 is q1 q2 q3 then q2 on c there is no transition so it goes to phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi q3 on c there is no transition so it goes to phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi so we had a transition in the equivalent nfa for q2 on c it goes to q1 q2 q3 okay lastly we find for the state q3 then q3 we find epsilon closure of q3 which is q3 and transition from q3 on a goes to q3 we again compute epsilon closure of q3 that is q3 itself then q3 we add over here in the transition table for q3 on a goes to q3 and we compute q3 for b so epsilon closure of q3 is again q3 q3 on b there is no transition so it goes to phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi so we add q3 on b goes to phi in the equivalent nfa lastly we compute q3 on c so q3 then epsilon closure of q3 is again q3 from q3 there is no transition for c so it goes to phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi so we add a transition from q3 on c in the equivalent nfa table goes to phi final states are to be decided so final states are those states from which you can these states from which you can reach final states only by reading epsilon are considered to be the final states so from q0 by reading epsilon you can go to q1 and from q1 on reading epsilon you can go to q3 so from q0 and q1 you can go to q3 similarly from q2 you can go to q1 and from q1 you can go to q3 by reading just epsilon 
so all the states q0 q1 q2 and q3 will be the final states in this equivalent nfa so this q2 will also be a final state i have not marked it over here so this q2 will also be a final state right so all the states will be the final state in the equivalent nfa so this is the equivalent nfa 